guys, my name is Kylie. Welcome if you're new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you're new with us, welcome to the show. My name is Kylie Bonia. If you haven't been here before, you are definitely in for a treat because I am the coolest person I know. I have a lot of confidence this morning, but in reality, I've just drank a lot of energy drinks. Um, it's currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I am going to work. But I figured we ought to have a little car vlog today. <sighs> I feel like I haven't really... So, I have not filmed consistently in like two to three weeks. So, we're getting back on that train. And I figured we just really have a lot of fun. Just make it consistent to filming. So, my life has been pretty interesting. If you don't know, I did get a new job from Ulta. So I work at a fragrance store. Um, and it's a 45 minute drive to my house. So I get a 45 minute drive to work, which is honestly so relaxing. It's like my favorite part, to be honest. Um, Yeah, it has been a wild, it's probably been closer to a month. So it's been a wild month. I have gotten a cat, you guys saw Ken. He is one years old. He is such a handsome boy. I don't know what kind of cat he is, but I do know that he's gonna be ginormous. He has like really big paws and even like his pads are like super big. I'm like, he's gonna be a big cat. So if you guys haven't seen Ken, check out my video from like two days ago. It was my home decor video. But I know soon me and him are gonna do like a whole video together. Which is really exciting. Um, this month for me has definitely been... I've definitely had a tower moment, right? So, everything was going really good prior. And then I kind of just had like a relapse in... Okay, like I'm literally having a breakdown. Everything's crashing. But now I'm in that rebuilding moment. And that's really exciting for me. I don't, I feel like when I talk, I just kind of get into it and then forget and I'm sorry that I'm like that, but I just get really excited and you guys make me really excited. I love YouTube and this is something I want to do, but I'm in this tower moment. I'm in this relapse. Now everything is starting to become a lot better than what it was, which is really exciting. I feel like I haven't felt this kind of love and passion and just overall excitement in a really long time. So my spare room, that has been my spare room for literally almost the entire year, I'm finally doing something with it. I'm finally turning it into an office. I'm thinking half of it can be an office, like half of it can be like a studio space. But I just want to start as an office. So I'm making myself a goal. I'm going to order a desk. We're going to, I figured we'd make a whole little video out of it. Putting it together. Because honestly, I finally have like a living room that I love. And it truly just makes me so happy that I just want my entire house to feel like that. Because for the last year, my kitchen and my bedroom have felt like those spaces. And even my bedroom now, I'm like, I want like pictures in it, which I'll get there. But, so I love my living room. So I just want, the spare room just feels like such a neglected space. And I don't want my house to feel like that. So it's just like the last room that I'm like, yes, this needs to get done. Which is honestly so exciting. It's so exciting. Yep. Everything's been going really good for me lately. <sighs> I have gotten super into my books again. So if you didn't see my home decor video, you should go watch it. Because it's like my first video back. Come on. Um, I did get a second bookshelf. So I built that that night. And now I have even more space for all my books because all I've been doing lately is reading. Even yesterday, work was like pretty slow and I had a short shift. 
So I brought like a small 50 page book with me and I read it in the only hour I was alone. I was alone for an hour and I read the entire thing. I was like, this is over already? <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, it's like a tiny book. I can keep it in my purse for emergencies when I forget my big one. And I finished it. I was like, wow. The current book I'm reading is Atomic Habits. If you haven't heard of that book, I'm very surprised. I feel like everyone and their mom has read it, or maybe that's just very niche to me. And it talks all about like how to improve your habits basically day by day. And honestly, I was like, I don't know, like the hype on this book just feels like a little too much. It's a wonderful book. It's a little dry. I'm not gonna lie. I remember reading like the first like six chapters and I was like, this entire book just feels like an intro. But it, it, it just kind of almost reads like uh, a study. But it's, it's a very good book. I've read worse. <laughs> but it's, it's a wonderful book. Um, I think in the time that I've started my new job, I finished like three or four books. Which is very impressive if I do say so myself. <sighs> I've just very much been trying to create my dream life because it's like if I do this now I want to do all the hard work now but also I just want to be setting the grounds that I want to do what makes me happy so I've been going on a lot of photography walks of just like walking around with my camera taking pictures because photography isn't something I'm like super duper into but I do just love playing with my camera and it's like even little things like that, I just wanna create the best content for you guys. That's my goal, right? So I've been doing little photography walks. I have, I've been trying to take myself out more. Definitely having Ken. So now I feel like I have responsibility with Ken. It's like, I feel like I can't just like go to Six Flags every week because like, like he needs to eat like it's kind of expensive I just have that responsibility of now I have to take care of him and honestly I love that feeling but it also feels like so much but I guess that's like kind of like having like a boyfriend right it's like yes I can take care of me myself and I but then to have the responsibility of somebody else feels like a lot but it's fine it's fine in October I'm super excited for this I got invited to a wedding so we are gonna have so much fun at that I am totally taking you with me we're totally doing a vlog so stay tuned in October I'm very excited honestly this fall I want to have the most like fall eat fall I want to go like apple picking, I want to go pumpkin picking, I want to do all the fall things with you guys, because I have no one else to do them with anyways, right? I want to do all the fall things. I'm so excited. Also, if you're new with us, then you don't know, but I've talked about this prior. We are totally doing Vlogmas on this channel, so if that's something you're into, stay tuned. I'm very excited for this year. This is going to be an amazing year. And I am very excited to be bringing you guys with me the entire time. If you guys don't know much about me, I say this pretty much every couple months. My name's Kylie Bologna. I am 20 years old. I live alone in a small town in Massachusetts. I now have a son, Kenneth. Short, we call him Ken. His full name is Kenneth Samuel Bologna, if you, did, if you wanted to know. Um, he's one years old, and he's a sweet little boy. I am, I work full time at a job that's okay. I adore reading, knowledge is power, and I hope to make a huge impact on society. I just want to be something. I just, I just do. I've missed this. I've missed you guys. I've missed being able to sit with a camera 
and just talk. That's what I've missed. Oh, also, if you guys noticed that my channel looks a little different, I did change the banner art, which uh, I hope you guys really like. It took me forever because the dimensions would not fit and it was literally killing me. So that's updated. Also, for October this year, I know I'm bouncing right now, I'm so sorry. It's like driving thoughts. So for October this year, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna lay all my cards out on the table. I've never seen a single scary movie. I've never been to a haunted house. I'm just terrified of all that stuff. I've just never done it because I've been so scared. This year, I wanna watch scary movies and I wanna go to a haunted house. And uh, I might as well bring you guys with me. Maybe not for the scary movies, but for the haunted house, definitely. You're definitely coming. It's on like Donkey Kong. Well, hello. Um, so I bought this <laughs> microphone from the Dollar Tree and I have never been more excited for anything in my life. Let's get back on the road and have a little karaoke sesh. I usually um, put the songs in the corner, so I will try to remember. Um, for you, Kylie, it's Hypotheticals from Lake Street Dive. Wait and see. Immediate action is unnecessary. It's a fatal ejection, it's a little scary. But I got a nerve attack and I'm sure it's so someday soon. I'm no witch. And if it's absolutely necessary, we'll go to plan C. Whatever I gotta do to be with you. I've been playing out a lot of hypotheticals in my mind. I've been adding your name down next to mine. Cause the girl that you thought you knew, she's so Sometimes I think about how much of a dweeb I look to everyone around me, and I just love that. So uh, I'm taking a little music break. I honestly love this microphone. I'm so sorry if you guys hate it, and I'm sorry if it kills the audio. But um, no, um, you know what I hate genuinely is when um, you really like somebody. Okay, so like, I hate people. I never, I hate people. To be honest, I don't hate anybody. Hate is a very strong word. Um, I have been very, I kind of just like don't let people into my bubble. I like am very in particular and I, I just avoid people on like a very deep level if that makes sense there's a boy right now who's kind of making me simp for him and I kind of like it but I don't know I don't know I don't know um I don't think he watches my videos so like oh well but uh if he does you know who you are Sometimes I do things and like instantly regret them, but that's what makes me the life of the party, right? When people make me feel, that's when I like usually run away. So like it's weird that people can make me feel and I like kind of enjoy it. It's a very weird concept for me. Especially like I work retail, like I talk to people all day and even working on YouTube, like I talk to a camera all day, which is honestly way more preferred. I can talk to a camera all day long. Sometimes I like, I like things. I like, I like me. Usually I'd prefer, you know, honestly, you know what stuck with me the most is, I hate boys. I, I dislike boys. Um, I really enjoy when 
there's a quote I found that it was like, I don't know the best way to put this, but um, do you know the feeling of when you find someone who's just like you? They're just like the opposite gender. That's like, that is the best way to describe it. It's like, I feel like I just found me inside of another person. And then it's like the weirdest thing. But it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. Hi, uh, my name is Kylie Bologna and I do not know how to drive. I'm on my life. <laughs> I'm gonna get loose tonight. I honestly think I'm the most hilarious person I know, and I'm not even gonna lie about that. I really do. Um, yeah, we're probably like 20 minutes away from work now because I am in Pittsfield. So, Pittsfield is actually the city of Berkshire County. So, I live in, I live in Massachusetts, I live in Berkshire County. Uh, Pittsfield is the city. I was born and raised in Pittsfield. Yeah, I think it has like a population of like 8,000 people, something crazy like that. So, it's like itty bitty. It's just cute. I love. Very interesting experience to grow up with, but everyone's experience is so different. And that's like the fun part. Is That's the fun part about like connecting with different people is everybody has such a different perspective and everyone has such a different culture. It's just very interesting to think about. So my goals for this month are definitely to like get my office set up. I'd like to get that set up within the next like week or two, to be honest. Um, I need an oil change, so I need to get an oil change, but I'm not taking it. I've, okay. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when I went to Jersey, like five, Five might be a little dramatic, like three or four months ago, and I needed an oil change then. Um, I've needed an oil change since then, and I have yet to go get it. And I drive 45 minutes back and forth to work every day. Um, so I've decided it's finally time. Um, I'm gonna switch cars with my dad and make my dad go because I just I just can't. The last time I went and took myself for an oil change. The guy wanted to talk to me for like 45 minutes and I just, I just couldn't do it. Um, can I leave my car here and go shopping? <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to handle these kinds of situations. So it's just easier to avoid them. I'll take it next time. Just not this time. I also just like don't really have a lot of time. But I, I might just be telling myself that to get out of it. So, as you guys know, we kind of had, like, some updates with the channel. I was talking about the banner earlier. My days of posting are still the same. Wednesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I really just want to do some, like, kind of different stuff. I would like to vlog a little bit more. So, like, more driving vlogs like this. I want to wanna just do stuff with you guys, whether you, like want to go to the museum together, stuff like that. I want to go on like picnics, stuff like, like little fun things. And like once we get closer a little bit more to fall, I want to do more fall facing stuff. I really want to do more fashion stuff. You guys really seem to be into that. Um, when I did my claws out clean out, that video is at like a thousand views, which is phenomenal. So like if you guys want more fashion stuff, it's there. It's, just let me know what you guys really want. But videos like that do really well. Anything like hair, fashion, and I feel like makeup depends. But hair and fashion videos honestly just do really well. So obviously that's what you guys like. So I will continue to do stuff like that. Vlogs kind of seem hit or miss. They're just really... They're just really fun to film. But let me know what you guys like. If you don't like, like me dyeing my hair 24 seven, let me know. Let me know what kind of content you guys want. I really just wanna do more stuff with you. 
I just want to have fun. Let's have fun and make change. So those are like kind of like the only changes. I just want to switch up, try some new stuff. Somebody was asking me for a Q&A. So, oh, I shouldn't have done that. So I think we're going to do that soon. So I'm going to post on Instagram closer to said um, Q&As. And you guys can ask me, like, I'll leave, like, the thing for questions. So you guys can ask me the questions. So if you aren't following my Instagram, go follow my Instagram. The links to literally everything are always in my bio. So like my Instagram, my OnlyFans, my TikTok, which no promises, but this month, by the end of this month, beginning of next month, I want to be posting on TikTok. Like at least like once, twice, three times a week. Because as much as I hate short form content, it's, it's content. And I want to be making more content for you guys. Also, lately my Instagram pictures have been hecka cute, so make sure you're going to like those. But other than that, we are almost at work. I think I'm going to cut the video short here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you all soon, and bye!